Thank you. It's now been over three weeks since Elijah Vu was reported missing in the Two Rivers area. And community search efforts have expanded since Elijah's disappearance. And the reward for any information that leads to Elijah is now up to $40,000, 10000 from Manitowoc County Crime Stoppers, 15000 from the City of Two Rivers, and 15000 from the FBI. Emily Roberts live at Gordon Bubolt's Nature Preserve in Appleton this morning. And Emily, in just a few hours, there's going to be a search party there. Tammy Emerson Boobles has more than eight and a half miles of trails, so volunteers are going to need all the help they can get if you're able to join in this morning. Take a look at your screen here. We are first to bring you the very latest community search schedules each day on Action 2 News this morning. These are not based on police tips. You can see the search at Boobles here from 830 this morning to 5 tonight. In Fond du Lac, volunteers are meeting near the Lighthouse on Lighthouse Drive at 10 this morning and in Manitowoc. Search headquarters are back at the Mikado Theater today with search times at 930 and 1 in the afternoon. Our Action 2 News this morning crew continues to join search parties looking for Elijah all across northeast Wisconsin, like at Weequiac Falls County Park in Brown County. Volunteers checking the woods and falls area and marking places they already looked with some blue paper ribbon. The Greater Green Bay Area Search Coordinator says they want to help however they can. We can't find him and it's really sad. It's going on three weeks now and it's just heartbreaking and it's super heartwarming how everyone's joining together and trying to help him. Um, so I really hope we find him at some point. Even if you can't get out to search, the Green Bay coordinator says everything helps, like putting up flyers to get Elijah's name and face as many places as possible. Live in Appleton, Emily Roberts, Action 2 News. Emily, thank you so much. Meanwhile, Elijah's mother and her boyfriend are set to appear back in court tomorrow. Both face felony charges of child neglect. And just last week, investigators filed new charges against Katrina Bauer for her alleged actions involving another child of hers. And our Brittany Schmidt has a detailed story on the timeline of Elijah's mother's actions leading up to Elijah's disappearance. You'll find that story and what we know about the case on WBAY.com.